This is the top five meta loadouts in Warzone and Rebirth Island. All these loadouts have basically no recoil and have the best TTKs and best movement. So we're going to start out with the number one, which is a static HV SMG. This has the fastest TTK for an SMG, and it's absolutely deadly up close. Throw on the quarter mass of suppressor for being undetectable by the radar, gun kick control, and recoil control at the cost of aim down sights being spread to fire speed. Now the recoil, gun kick, and vertical recoil go down 10%, and horizontal recoil goes down 23%, which is absolutely insane for an attachment beats the zemin beats the sonic beats literally everything else and you only lose six percent and eight percent for handling not really a big deal because we're going to take care of that later on in the class setup put on the auger 840 light barrel for aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed movement speed and hip fire attack stance spread at the cost of recoil control and gun kick control this is the best choice in my opinion the mobility and handling are just absolutely insane already taking care of the handling issue that we had in the previous attachment and the beautiful thing is we have so much more in store now i see you guys notice the 10 percent recoil reduction across the board trust me when i say you're not going to notice that throw on the nider model 2023 this is the best attachment in my opinion for this smg some people like to use the jack glasses optic completely up to you whatever you want to use this just has no con no stock for the sprint to fire speed movement speed aim walking speed and hip fire spread now this is the best for mobility and handling some people can't really handle this i mean in my opinion i think it's the best choice but if you can't handle it then go ahead and throw on the spry 34 light stock this is a little bit more up some people's alley it's just that you're not going to get the full benefit of the no stock finally put on the sk24 grip for the gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aiming out of sway this absolutely amazing helps recoil control by seven percent across the board when you go into the firing range it takes no effort to actually use this weapon it has super low recoil all you guys have to do is hold your thumbstick down a little bit i saw some people talking about how oh my gosh this is completely uncontrollable and in my opinion those people are just people that don't expect a weapon to have recoil at all here's the entire class setup right here like I said, it does have a little bit of recoil with no stock. All you have to do is hold your thumbstick down a tiny bit. Now, if you want to try the SPRY, if you want to control a little bit better, then you do have to switch some things up, unfortunately. You're going to put this on, and you can put something on as an alternative like the Brune Heavy or the FTAC. In my opinion, the FTAC will probably be the best choice. Throw that on there. And then you have an entirely, well, not entirely different build, but something a little bit more manageable in regards to recoil if you guys think you can't handle the previous setup so with this one i think you can handle a little bit of the longer range engagements it's just that you're not maxing out your uh movement so it's completely up to you i mean i think that's still good i think it still gets the job done so i mean try it out for yourself whichever one you want to use completely up to you number two is the stg 44 this assault rifle is still the best for long range nothing is beating it right now throw on the quarter master suppressor for being undetectable by the radar gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed this goes without saying it beats the cassis break and zemin 35 these were the optimal choices before the quarter master came out but now that this is out there's no reason to lose bullet velocity or even not get the full horizontal recoil benefits that you could have throw on the hein richter c70 long barrel for bullet velocity and range and aiming out of sway at the cost of hip fire accuracy hip recoil control and gun kick control i see a lot of people using the bruna crux heavy barrel but that's just if they need their handheld for the recoil control i don't think you need your handheld i think you can control the recoil of this weapon considering there's borderline none throwing the coil it goes i 2.5 times unless you're more so a jack classes optic person i mean i was for a little bit but i really really enjoy the coil eagle's eye this is what i use now dr 79 combo stock for the gun kick control recoil control firing aim stability at the cost of sprint to fire speed aim down sight speed and hip fire spread i don't think that the cons really matter because you get a 21 percent increase for recoil gun kick and 11 percent for horizontal and vertical recoil definitely want that finally i put on the 50 round drum this is my personal preference if you want 40 completely fine but i just think that 50 works a lot better when you go into the firing range i'm barely holding my thumbstick down it does not take any effort to actually use this weapon it's just an absolute meta ar right now so until they try to nerf this thing this is the absolute meta and honestly it doesn't seem like anything's beating it so please give this a try it's an absolute busted assault rifle that if you're not using it someone is going to use it against you and cook you in like four bullets number three is the striker and i honestly was sleeping on this build for a long time but this build has zero recoil and i'm going to prove it to you guys once you guys get all these attachments so on the quartermaster suppressor for being undetected by the radar gun kick control and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed once again the recoil gun kick and vertical recoil 10 percent and the horizontal recoil 23 percent absolutely amazing the handling is not a big deal they're on the striker recon long barrel for below velocity and range and aiming out sway at the cost of hip fire attack stand spread sprint to fire speed and aim walking speed the benefits are just so good 18 percent for effective a minimum and 15 percent for bullet velocity some people like using the striker elite long barrel i mean if you're somebody that wants to use that completely fine but you are losing so mobility and handling which i mean i just don't think is necessary we can just have this and increase your range this already has basically no recoil throw on the point 45 auto high grain rounds for no enemy skulls bullet velocity and damage 
experience with the cost of some recoil control, which in my opinion, you do not notice in the first place. You get a 15% increase across the board for the range. 48 round mag. Now, trust me on this. You do not want 60 just because the 60 cons are way too high in regards to like 48. 48 in comparison to 60 is just way too high for 12 extra bullets. Plus, this doesn't shoot super fast. I mean, it shoots relatively fast, but not super fast. So you only need 48 to get the job done. Trust me. Finally, the Lockman Recon Series stock for gun kick control, aiming out of sway and recoil control at the cost of hip fire and attack stance spread, sprint to fire speed, aim walking speed, and movement speed. This thing is insane. Believe me, 25% increase for recoil gun kick, 5% uh, for horizontal and vertical. Definitely the optimal choice. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. When you go into the firing range, this thing literally does not move. At basically any single range, this thing has no recoil. That's why I said that this has to be the best no recoil weapon. <clears throat> this thing is absolutely busted. Takes no effort to actually use this gun. It's one of the best SMGs in the game. You can actually use it as an AR if you really wanted to. It's so busted. It's literally the UMP. So give this a try. I know you guys are absolutely going to love this, especially if you're somebody that's newer on the game, needs something with no recoil, but really powerful. Next is the SVA 545. This thing is absolutely lethal, especially in competitive. Throw on the sonic suppressor for being undetectable by the radar, bullet velocity and damage range at the cost of sprint to fire speed and aim walk and steadiness and recoil control. 5% increase of effective and minimum damage range and 13% increase of bullet velocity. Definitely ideal. STV precision barrel for aiming out of sway, bullet velocity and range and gun kick control and recoil control. This thing is so amazing. 12%, 13%, and 15% for the range and you get a slight boost of recoil control i mean that part doesn't matter too much but it's always nice to have out of all the attachments the brune heavy support grip is the absolute best for this weapon for for the gun kick control aiming out of sway horizontal recoil and firing aim stability you lose some aim down sights being vertical recoil but trust me when i say you're not going to notice this 60 round mag because you want as many bullets as possible and finally the jack glasses optic if you want the coil because i guess you can use it but i see a lot of people using the jack glasses optic myself included now when you use this weapon make sure you guys set it to single fire that's where the magic actually comes in so this thing literally has no recoil even with anything given to it to increase the recoil the single fire just makes it so that there's it's just a straight laser and it kills actually a whole lot faster in single fire than in regular fire so this is basically an an94 to anybody that's played black ops 2 or black ops 3 this is basically an 94 so treated as such and for the final weapon the reclaimer 18 this shotgun is the fastest killing weapon close range in my opinion i'm surprised that not many people are using it i don't think many people know about it they're on the bryson improved choke for the hip fire attack stance spread tighter pellet spread and damage range at the cost of recoil control and aim down sight speed does not really matter we're focusing on the range and damage and along with the accuracy they're on the discourager 900 heavy barrel for the two ammo capacity bullet velocity and range recoil control and gun kick does not really matter once again we're increasing the range by 15 percent 14 percent and bullet velocity by seven percent which is absolutely ideal none of these actually compare next we're putting on no stock for crouch movement speed sprint to fire speed aim walking speed and aim down sight speed this thing is absolutely amazing also for accuracy if you notice the hip fire spread minimum is 23 percent the max is six percent tax stand spread six percent but the mobility and handling increase are just so optimal but next we're putting on the haste 15 grip tape for the tax stand spread sprint to fire speed trust me when i say that this is absolutely necessary the flinch resistance going up is not really important because of the nature of this weapon believe me the 19 percent increase for tax stand spread is so optimal along with the sprint to fire speed finally we're putting on the x10 tx12 hand stop for the tax stand spread aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed at the cost of some hip fire spread which you do not really even notice that part the tax stand spread 15 percent and ads speed five percent sprint to fire speed five percent absolutely awesome now this weapon right here you're going to want to put it in tax stand spread so when you actually get into a game what you're going to want to do is you're going to ads and you're just going to push down on your d-pad this is how it's going to be powerful up close and personal now when you actually get into a game it's going to be absolutely lethal use this class setup and it's going to change your gameplay forever trust me.